Ever heard the joke, what's the difference between broccoli and boogers? You can't get kids to eat broccoli. Well, it seems there might be a kernel of truth to that jest. For some reason, boogers often prove to be an irresistible delicacy to many children. Boogers are formed when some of the mucus that is constantly produced in our noses dries out. This nasal mucus serves as a barrier, preventing harmful particles and pathogens in the air from being inhaled. Instead, these intruders are caught by the wet, sticky snot and transported down the throat to the stomach. When larger particles, or greater amounts of them, are captured, they can form larger, sticky chunks or dry out, turning from sniffable to pickable. Now, the act of picking one's nose, scientifically known as rhinotelexis, isn't exactly advisable. A probing finger can introduce all sorts of infectious materials into the body and pass illnesses on to others. Imagine picking your nose and then shaking hands with someone. Hello, pneumonia. Not to mention that you can damage the inside of your nose, resulting in nosebleeds. When it comes to booger eating or mucophagy, as it's elegantly named, opinions differ. In 2013, Scott Knapper, a biochemistry professor in Canada, proposed a theory that eating boogers might boost your immune system. He suggested that by ingesting these particles, children were increasing their immunity to any illnesses they could cause. However, other scientists have pointed out that most of the mucus you produce gets swallowed anyway, so the brief detour of a booger from nose to mouth is unlikely to significantly boost your health. A simpler answer to why kids might eat their boogers is that they just like the taste. A study from 1966 noted that nose pickings are reported to be quite tasty, salty to be exact. Plus, the convenience factor can't be ignored. How delicious does something need to be when it's so conveniently located near one's mouth? So the next time you see a child mining for nose gold and then chowing down, remember it might just be their evolutionary instinct. Or maybe they just find it tasty, or perhaps like the great mountaineer George Mallory climbing Mount Everest, they do it simply because it's there. Or maybe it's snot.